Step um, in the right direction, mate. Look yeah, at that. There we go. Yeah, Every was the same bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, but Listen, don't you don't realise how video. much that makes me um, very happy. I have another thing. I have a toothbrush, for example. <laughs> and if it's a long match, uh, you've got the toothbrush there just in case it goes overnight. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> no, no. What's you... your bench? The same as me? Or... <laughs> no, no that level, I think yeah. you, you bench more, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I am Francisco Serundolo, and you're listening to the Game to Lab podcast. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. This podcast we've been waiting to do for a long time, and it's brought to you in collaboration with Head Tennis. It's Serendolo time. We've been sort of saying about it for the last few podcasts, haven't we? Yeah. It's been in the works, and the day has finally come, JG. Whoa, yeah, I'm listen, excited. man, you know how much I love the clay courts, and to have one of my favourite players on there, um, who's been tearing it up this year, him and his brother. I am so excited, uh, a bit in awe of him, to be fair, because he's someone I've watched a lot of. And I'm fascinated to see what he says about how to pack a tennis bag. We're doing it for head and we've got a lot of exciting questions lined up. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, I believe we've got Francisco waiting right now. So let's get him, let's get started straight away and uh, welcome in Francisco Serendolo. Great to have a... Uh... One of our favourite players, it has to be said, on the on the clay courts from Argentina. We actually put out a podcast not too long ago speaking about yourself, Francisco, and your brother and uh, how excited we are about the future of tennis. And uh, we even have you in the banner on our channel. So uh, great to have you on the Game to Love podcast. Oh, thank you very much for you for inviting me. Yeah. It's an honor. Hopefully, I can improve and get better and better, and many more people can, can watch me. Yeah, so of course, we're here today on behalf of Head to talk about how to pack a tennis bag. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about you. And I think we'll start off with where are you? I know you were saying you're in a hotel, you've been traveling around yeah. playing some clay court tennis as always. Uh, but which delightful country are you in at the moment? Well, now I'm in Uruguay. Uh, I okay. arrived. Uh, Today in the morning, um, we have our last swing of challengers here in South America. So I will be here this week and the next two or three weeks I will play in Brazil. And that's the end of my year. How, how is that for you? Just uh, are you used to it now? The, the sort of life on tour and going to a different country every single, well, it's nearly every week, isn't it? You're yeah. traveling. Yeah, and it's stressful. And now with the COVID and the pandemic, it's more stressful because every flight and you have to do a lot of things, complete many papers. So you go to the airport and you don't know if you can get into the plane. So now it's, it's worse than, than before, but uh, yeah, we get used to, um, of course I'm tired. We are in November. We, I, I think this year it, it was my, the one I traveled the most because of, of the COVID. I couldn't uh, get back home for, I don't know, your summer. So yeah, I'm tired, mentally tired, because I don't want to travel anymore. I want to stay at my, my home for, I don't know, three, four, four weeks without moving and taking flights. But yeah, last effort. Let's get on to the main topic which Head wanted us to discuss, and that is how you pack your tennis bag. Um, me and Ben, we do play tennis ourselves. Nowhere near the okay. level you guys can play. Um, yeah. So we do pack a <laughs> tennis bag. For me... From my experience, it's a case of whatever's in the bag is usually that. That's it. I don't really, I'm not the much packing going on. I just lump everything in there after I played. And then when I go back to <laughs> no. play, I'm hoping it's all still there. But I feel like with you, there's a little bit more thought what goes into it. So you tell of us course. your plan of how you pack a tennis bag before a match. Well, uh, first of all, I have two bags the one, the tennis bag of the rackets, and the small one. Um, yeah. Okay. If I play early in the morning, um, I, I packed a lot the night before, so before going to sleep, I I don't know, I take out my shirts, my pants, my socks, and I put all in a, in a plastic bag. I think I put like three shirts, three pants of, of for the match, and one 
for after the match. But um, that, if I play early, I do it uh, the night before, I put that. Then I put all the, the stuff, the elements to, to warm up, the bands and all of those. I put it all of both, I put it in the, in the small bag. And uh, okay. in my tennis bag, I put all the rackets. And I don't know, I take five or six uh, <laughs> per match, per day. And well, some of them are at the, at the tournament because they have to string them. If not, I put it uh, in the tennis bag. And uh, what else? I take some overgrips because before the match, just a couple of minutes before I, I change them. So yeah, I, I take like four or five. I don't take the whole like the, the whole bag of, of overgrips, just the ones that I, I think I'm gonna use. I grab some some gels for for the match. If you get tired, you have to, to eat something during the match, and those are important. And some do you have like a favorite flavor of gel or is, <laughs> is it always the same ones? Yeah. I have a, I like the blueberry. Uh, or, okay. Yeah, I think the blueberry is the best one for me. I but I don't care. Maybe, I have, maybe that's where I, I'm going wrong with my tennis, <laughs> the blueberry gel. Yeah, probably. But I don't care. I buy just the, a mix of them. It has orange, lemon, lime, uh, blueberry, strawberry. But my okay. favorite is blueberry. Okay. Do they have to I go take... in, a, in a certain pocket in the bag, or do, in, does yeah, everything have its those, own those special place? And the gels. They go in the, the small, the small pocket, the one at the, right. I don't know, the, the side of the bag. Yeah, yeah. Those ones go at the small one. Then I take also the. There are like pills that you put into the water, so yeah, you yeah. can drink it. That it's like oh, a Gatorade, okay. but uh, yeah, okay. different. Do you have your bag like, there with you at the moment? Yeah, you want to show? I, yeah, yeah. Why not? Let's see it. I, of I, I, yeah, we're interested. One second. No worries. Excited now. Yeah. <laughs> well, here it is. Hey, here we go. This. We get a look inside. In one, it goes all, all the clothes. Is that now it's empty because it's. Is that the dirty or clean? No, no, it's this clean. All okay. clean goes here. And I have the same one that is dirty, but now that it's late here, I, I, I took it off. Ah, another thing. Another bag, head, head bag, all my cups. Nice. For the ah, matches. Okay. Ah, oh, lovely. I, I take a lot. Yeah. <laughs> another one. The wristbands here. Another one. Nice. All of them. It's quite colors. well organized. I'm, I'm quite impressed how many different bags you've got within the big yeah. bag. I put it all, all here today because I just went I every today and I went straight to practice. So I couldn't use my small bag. But in this one, it goes cups and wristbands. Yep. And yeah. that's it. Then I have long long pants, and yeah. if it gets, I don't know, a bit cold. Does it get here. cold usually in South America? <laughs> yeah, but not now. Now it's starting our summer, but uh, in July, June, it gets, it gets cold. Okay. This one in the middle, the one at the other side, the two, my rackets. Ah, here. Wow, here we go. The weapons. Here's the weapons. Yeah, the weapons <laughs> at the sides. And uh, here, the, the small one, I take, I don't know, well, now I take this, a lot of oh, these, okay. <laughs> yep. just in That's case. That's another essential thing you can't forget yeah. during the, during the any, pandemic. Any hand sanitizer? Yeah. It's hand sanitizer? Yeah, I have, I have everything. Yeah. It's got <laughs> everything. I have, I have a lot of things. I have a toothbrush, for example. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. And uh, that's yeah. it. Here, oh, that's nice. all. What, what, I want, what I want you to know is, do you have any really like lucky charms? Anything a bit yeah. unusual in there you bring? Yeah, I have inside. I have some like pockets here, and I put like a a band of the colors of, of from Argentina, white and blue. Oh, I don't know awesome. if you can. Yeah, this one is them. kind of lucky, and my my aunt uh, gave me this. That is another one. Okay, it's oh, like cool. a wristband. I don't know how you call it. Yeah, a lucky one because it's red. So I, I have it there, just tidy it with the pocket. That's, is it, that's awesome. Is Brilliant it, look into your bag. Yeah, is it different uh, the one that you take to a match, like the way you pack it to the one you take for training, or are they the same? Yeah, probably. If I just have to train, I don't take the small one. I put everything in the in the big one, the tennis, and I think I take less less clothes, just 
some for practice, one for the morning, one for the afternoon, and that's all. That's if I play match, yeah. I, I have to take more because I don't know if it rains, you have to yep. get changed, or if you if I sweat a lot, yeah, that's the difference. If uh, and if it's a long match uh, and it goes quite late, uh, you've got the toothbrush there just in case it goes overnight. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> no, no, the toothbrush is there. Uh, for the airports, if you if I have okay. a long flight or something, I have to to brush yeah, my teeth yeah. just there. Um, and sometimes at the club, but not not during the match. Not during the match. Okay, I, I always wonder what goes on in those toilet breaks. So you never know. It might be someone brushing yeah. their teeth in there. Who knows? Probably. I don't know. Some <laughs> some players take like ten minutes. So exactly. I don't know what they do. There's been a lot of controversy, hasn't there, recently yeah. over these long the toilet way, yeah. breaks and. Uh, yeah, I think Andy Murray was speaking, speaking out about it quite a, uh, quite a lot. Yeah. And then all the Djokovic yeah, fans yeah. jumped on his back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah we're talking of bags. I've actually got a bag head gave off uh, on Game to Love. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you've seen these ones. You have this one? I have this one here. That, that one is <laughs> the one I use. You have this very one, yeah, because this is the one I've been using myself. Oh. Step um, in the right direction, mate. Look yeah, at that. There we go. Yeah, Me and Francisco with the same bag. <laughs> yeah, in the good direction, yeah. No, but Listen, don't you don't realise how much that makes me um, very happy. I feel like I've completed my life now. I've got a good. tennis player with the same bag as me. Um, yeah. I just wish I could play like it. Obviously, you can't fit the rackets in here, but it's good for no. sort of trainers and uh, towels yeah. and little bits like that. Usually, I go when I go to the gym. I'll bring this. Yeah, when well, this one, I, if I go just to the gym, I take yeah. this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me and you are the same. Do you Good. bench? How much this... do you bench? The same as me, or <laughs> no? Not at that no, level, yeah. You, you bench more, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's just yeah. on. The, he's on the treadmill. He's, are those four-hour <laughs> matches, you got to stay fit. Uh, do you have any like specific? I know we're uh, going back to the bag again, but is there? Uh, anything similar to like Andre Agassi because Andre Agassi back in the 90s app uh, apparently he was just very very uh regimented with how he packed his bag he wouldn't allow anyone to touch it and he had to put the water bottles in and <laughs> it seems that there's a bit OCD with a lot of these things but is it all superstitious do you have all of this with your yeah. bag Mm, no, yeah I don't like anyone to touch it or to make it for me mm. I just want to do it everything I don't have an order. Uh, I mean, I put everything, but I don't have a specific order. But uh, of of course, I double check that I have everything for the for the day. Um, but yeah, I have to do it myself, and yeah, that's all. When when do you sort of unpack the bag? So you spoke about you packing it, but when you're unpacking it, are you, are you someone who keeps it nice and clean? Because I can imagine playing on the clay courts. <laughs> You can get loads of little bits of clay in there. It can get quite dirty, right? These bags. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, um, yeah. We have, a, and I have a plastic bag because when you play on clay, your socks are, I don't know, it's orange, and then I don't know if you fell on the court, yeah. you are completely dirty. So yeah, I I put all in a plastic bag, and then when I arrive to the hotel or whatever I I stay, I put them all uh, in the bathroom. I try to to get how you say dry yeah, before yeah. before putting I don't know in the here how you call it in the in the wardrobe wardrobe yeah. Yeah. yeah if I put it wet there it it I don't know it, it gets a, a smell that is yeah. uh, <laughs> you you have to throw it away because you you I don't know you wash it and it's so it's it's with bad bad smell all. so about, first yeah yeah. I tried and then I put it there because so the the room is clean and with good smell. <laughs> good idea. Oh, yeah. What about with the of trainers course. as well though? Because you must get through quite a lot of pairs of trainers. And the socks. Literally, I was always I always think this. I know it's very weird. You're going to look at me like, what's wrong with him? But <laughs> when I'm watching a lot of clay court tennis, not even a lot of tennis in general, but particularly the clay court stuff, I can't imagine you your socks last very long. Uh, oh, no, no, get, no. You, you probably get them what one a match. I don't know, and then you have to throw them away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you if they're white, it's impossible to to be white after the first match. You use it once, and yeah. then it's white and orange, and you wash it. But it's yeah, like you can that. wash it. I, I do the same. No, I play a lot of football in the UK. It's and literally, you, they're done. Once you play in the white socks, that's it. They're done after that. That's it. Yeah, you that's it. Throw them away. 
yeah, it's impossible to be 100% clean. I was clean. wondering, but yeah, I'm glad I asked. <laughs> no chance. There's no chance. As you said, you've been on the road a lot, playing a lot of tennis. I feel like the seven dollar brothers have really come to the stage this year. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Of course, yeah. you and uh, and your brother. There's been some great successes. You've both made it in the ATP Tour, both getting to finals. Um, obviously, your brother a little bit more successful with that, managing to win his yeah. first final. Um, does he does he tease yeah. you a little bit about that, or or not so much? No, no. Uh, it was. <laughs> There were two great weeks, one after the other, yeah. in Argentina with our family, our friends. But uh, no, we are not competitive. I, I mean, if I don't win, I want him to win. So I'm really happy of what he has done this year and what he can achieve, I don't know, next year. And now he's at the next gen final. Yeah. yeah. So I hope he can do well there. It's going to be a tough tournament, the better, best player of under 21. So yeah, I wish him. Best of luck, and yeah, yeah, the brothers are are winning, are climbing in the rankings. So hopefully, we can play at the high level together. Is there any, is there any chance we're going to be seeing you two playing doubles together as well? Yeah, it, we will do it. Uh, this <laughs> I don't know. This tournament probably not because we are tired, and he he didn't want to play doubles uh, the weeks before. So I played with another guy. But next year, hopefully, yeah, we can play some ATPs or some challengers so people can have fun. No, it's definitely going to be great. I mean, uh, you're both great in the, in the singles. Uh, I can only imagine, like, when you get two uh, brothers playing together, we've seen what the Brian brothers have been able to do. Maybe the Serendolos, they're the next yeah. ones to come along to take the doubles <laughs> world by storm. No, no. Who knows? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> it, must be, it must be difficult watching your brother. Do you get sometimes a bit nervous watching him? Would you say it's more nervous yeah, watching? Because we've spoken to other players and they say, like, family and stuff. Watching a relative play tennis is so much harder than actually being there yourself. Of course, yeah. When when I watch him play, I, I want him so bad to win that I, I get more nervous than when I'm playing. But, yeah, yeah there's... Yeah, you cannot compare playing yourself than watching, I know, my brother because I don't have the control of the match, so that's why I get nervous. How many times have you played each other in a competitive match? No, just one. We play once in a qualis of futures in 2017, okay. but never again. It's strange because we play many at the same tournament, so probably will happen in the future. And, and who yeah. won that one? I won. I won. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> you got the better right. on that occasion. In terms of your duration of matches, playing on the clay courts is grueling. It is tough. You have some really good players from Argentina who show it so well. Um, of course, the Serendolos right there. But I like the look of, uh, obviously, Diego Schwartzman. He's sort of the main guy who's been doing it for a bit long, on, well, quite long on the ATP Tour. You've got young players like Sebastian Baez as well coming yeah. through. Yeah. He looks awesome. I don't know. Are you good friends with him? or? Yeah, Baez is, I think, two years younger than me. Uh, he's, I think, uh, have a better relationship with my brother because they are same. Uh, my brother is one year younger, but they played juniors and their whole career together. But uh, yeah, I'm also a friend of him. Yeah, and these guys, they go, you guys go the distance. I'm watching all the time. We are big fans of the Challenger Tour. We stay up <laughs> late with you guys watching it. How yeah. is, how, how grueling is some of these matches? Uh, because clay court tennis is a real slog at times. There's some long rallies. Yeah. Um, is, is that for you the beauty of it? Like, just tell us your experiences of playing these long matches. Yeah, well, um, I think South American and Argentinians we are used to that because we play our whole life in, in clay court. So we are, I think, used to long matches and play for hours and hours. But uh, I don't think it's nice, but you have to do it. I mean, if we play a European or some someone that doesn't like to play on clay courts, we try to do a, a long match to to make him play hundred balls per, I've noticed per, that. I've per, noticed. per point, <laughs> so they get mad and then desperate. But uh, I think it's it's good. Um, we play, I don't know, three hours. Of course, then you you feel tired, you're exhausted, you don't want to do anything, and if you lose, it's worst. But yeah. Yeah, do, it's, do you it's have a, a, like a, a do, do strategy. Have like a, yeah, I notice you have like a strategy for that as well. Um, do you do? You, is there like a match what comes to mind this year, which has been particularly one of your hardest ones? 
one of my hardest matches. One of the most difficult matches you've played this year for you. This year, I think uh, that I won, I think, against uh, Ramos Viñolas in semis okay. in Argentina Open. Yeah. That was almost three hours. I It was stressful. I wanted to win, to pass to my finals. I think I, I, I finished the match and I was cramping because of the nervous. That one was really, really tough. Another one was I lost with Poppy in first of the Belgrade 250, 7 6 in the third. And I have a couple of match points. The other one was also tough, tough lost. Um, yeah, that, that, that semi final you spoke about, I was watching that earlier, some of the highlights. Because um, then obviously you played Schwartzman in the final and he was just in crazy form. I feel like yeah, he was a little bit tired going into that final, right? Yeah, because I, I played Qualis three matches. I four of the of main draw, seven matches, that was my eighth match. And I think I played like four or five and three sets. Yeah. yeah. And he only played three <laughs> matches because he got a bye in the first round and then three easy matches. And of course, if I don't, if I can't be at the physically at the, my hundred percent, I cannot play against him. Yeah. yeah who would, he's so good. Who would you say, uh, obviously there's so many amazing Argentinian tennis players. Is there one that you sort of, model your game on or is it more another player on tour when you're growing up that you've sort of tried to emulate or take some of the good parts of their game uh, well when i was young i was a big fan of nalbandian oh, uh, great. i think he yeah he played unbelievable he has a great backhand great uh, i don't know he can see the court like nobody else he can play angles i don't know down the line he was so smart and he has a he he you watch him and it looks so easy how to play and then you cannot do anything but i think i, I try to copy him backhand how he moved the ball around the all the all the court but i don't think i have a role model now on, on the tour i don't know i try to copy some stuff from different players but nalvania was my idol well one of the one of the best and yeah. i swear i swear yeah. i read wasn't he with the only player to have beaten all of the big three in the same tournament or something like that? I think I yeah. read that about him. When, not not anybody yeah. else has he, that. If you won a 1,000 master, I don't know, 2,000 and I don't know what, eight, I think, and he beat uh, Federer, Djokovic and Nadal. I mean, say no, say no more. But uh, yeah. And then he had the other side of his game, which everybody remembers that horrendous thing where he kicked the line judge by accident. Yeah. <laughs> But, that was uh, uh, Queens when he booted the uh, the board, wasn't it, into the guy's shin? Yeah. But uh, what, what can forward, you, what, yeah, yeah, really unfortunate. Uh, some players, have you ever lost your head on a tennis court? We know he keeps six rackets in the bag. That's because a few of them get smashed. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, oh, you the, know, like the one thing that I've done, I think, was I broke a racket at the French Open this year, and, but it it wasn't nice. Uh, I was embarrassed when I did it. But I don't know. I think in, on the court, I try to, I don't know, stay calm and don't do horrendous things because then when you watch the match again, or you think of what you've done before, yeah. it's not nice. Um, I mean, but some, something happens. You, you are out of control. Yeah. I, I want to ask you about the French Open. What was that experience like for you? Because out of all of the slams, um, I feel like it's safe to say Roland Garros is probably the one you look at as you're, the one you, you you expect to go furthest yeah. in in your career, um, it's going to be obviously the clay court, the, the slam. How how was the experience for you playing in uh, Roland Garros? Yeah, it was it was amazing. I mean, it was the only one I can I can I could play a uh, main draw. I don't know. It's yeah, it's the, the tournament that we we watch since we are five years old here. Yeah. Many Argentinians made semifinals, quarters, or finals. Gaudio won, Vilas won. Korea finals so yeah it's really important for us because we are we grew up playing always on clay court and this year was also like you no know, really it was amazing because with my brother we both made last round of qualities he had a couple of match points to qualify he made it i got in uh, by lucky loser but yeah it, it was an amazing experience and we want to to go back and try to 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 do better Listen, I think you definitely can. I'm predicting good things for 2022. Yeah. Uh, we'll be cheering yeah, you both too. on. Um, so I think yeah. I think you, this was a good step, sort of get a taste of it, and you're going to be back stronger next year. 
Yeah, I think this was the first year I played all the slams. I I won matches in every one. In qualies, I made the last round in all of them. Yeah. In Australia, I got uh, I ki- I was kick off a kick out the tournament because I I got COVID. I won a first round and then second round I couldn't play. But yeah, uh, on the other ones, I was surprised in Wimbledon, for example, winning two matches and losing seven six in the fourth in the the last round of yeah. qualies. I know it was a big first step oh massive no, and no. you've done it you remember and you've got to remember you've done it in a year which has been so challenging like yeah. winding back to the beginning of the year we were speaking to a few players in the hotel rooms um so we yeah. had uh, thomas mahak on we had henry laxon <laughs> on the podcast and them guys yeah. they were just doing their pulling their hair out in the hotel room <laughs> just standing there they're playing silly games like losing tennis balls in the room and <laughs> stuff like this and uh yeah so it tough. was tough times and for you to be able to do Get, go for all of that. I can't listen. You never know. Touch wood. I don't think it will be harder than this year you've just had, and you've done so well. So um, I'm hoping with maybe a bit of a oh, more favourable year. Hopefully you don't get COVID again, and <laughs> you can push no. on and uh, really have just a phenomenal year playing all this, playing all the matches, and maybe getting some more slams and stuff. Big stages, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm really well, looking forward to. It. I think that the, this year has proven a lot of things as well because we've had players sort of come out of nowhere winning things. Does that give you hope? We've seen, obviously, we had Aslan Karatsev on the podcast before the Australian Open when he went to the semifinals. And uh, obviously now we've had a crazy time in Britain because Emma Raducanu just came from nowhere and just uh, won the US Open just out of the blue. So... Does yeah. this give hope to everybody else on tour that anybody can, if they put a string of uh, wins together, now you can be considered and you can sort of jump the rankings? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, everything can happen. In in men, it's tough, I think. Uh, the top players are, I think, in a different level. But uh, many players this year have done crazy things, Karatsev, uh, US Open, for example, Van der yeah. Yeah, uh, quarterfinals, Oyo Weeks, uh, I lost to him in the last round of qualies, and then he made round of 16, and <laughs> yeah. was up a break in the fourth with, with Alcaraz, and then he, he started cramping, but uh, Brooksby and Nakashima, Alcaraz yeah. also third in the world. Uh, yeah, many players, Greek, Greeks for now, they're winning challengers, and then and on the ATP, but yeah, I think if we are on the same level, probably. We play the same tournaments. We win, we lose. But if they can do it, I think many of us can also do it. Yeah, the Challenger agree. Tour is just full of so much talent, like you touched on. So the guys, tough, the Challenger Tour. Oh, it's so tough. I know you just mentioned Greeks, but I think he's on a winning streak right now of 18 or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's yeah. winning. He's going for the record. If he wins this Challenger he's in at the moment, it'll be the most Challenger Seven. titles seven titles yeah in the season yeah in one season which is just mad crazy numbers <laughs> i think the last loss funny enough for greek sport was against novak djokovic the last time he lost yeah. a match oh, yeah. against djokovic. in US open yeah, yeah i remember US open, which is, is mental, so. then... <laughs> i think the challengers feels... is a good place i feel like our big priority is trying to get yeah. more eyes on the challengers and more people to yeah. watch it because not everyone knows how good it is and how entertaining it can be um and that's why I have a lot of respect for you guys. What you're doing week in, week out is is phenomenal. Yeah. You keep you keep us entertained on Game to Love. Always watching and uh, yeah, it's... willing you guys to win. Well, really yeah. good matches, really good players. I think Amazing. Like everyone plays good here, and yeah. and there's a lot of young people here. That's... Yeah, but well, this is exactly it. Yeah, exactly right. And because of, you've seen this year. All of those players that we were sort of following last year or the year before, like people like your Van der Zanschlup or people like Karatsev, people have yeah. been grinding hard on the Challenger Tour for some time and then it suddenly clicked and then they've got their opportunity and they haven't looked back. Yeah. And I think it's like you have to, to be at the right moment. Uh, yeah. It's just one chance. You, you made a, a good tournament and then you feel like, okay. I can do it. And then you go up like this. Everyone's going to be interested to find out. I know you've said now Bandian was your sort of your inspiration. You've tra- drawn a lot of stuff from his game. But of all the players who are on tour at the moment uh, and still playing, 
who is the one player that you really do just enjoy watching and uh, you would always tune in uh, or if you're nearby you'll always go to the court to watch play uh, i think uh federer um i i enjoy watching him in every surface i don't know still with 40 years old i think he plays some bit level. he do things that nobody can do of course, he, he can lose matches because there are players that play unreal. But I think how he plays, how easy it looks when Elegant, he do it. Yeah, I think him. I can confirm. I think Federer is the most popular answer we've received from players. Course, yeah. uh, you'll be surprised. I think Kyrgios usually does quite well. People seem to like he watching is. him. Uh, you either hate him or you like him, but he seems to do well. But Federer he, is definitely the number one with uh, the players. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, they I all think seem Federer, to like. Yeah. Yeah, Have you had the like... pleasure of meeting Federer? Yeah, I met him in the French Open and Wimbledon. I think those two times, just high, and that's all I, I didn't speak with him. <laughs> okay. How about Rafa? I think that's what JG really wants to know. Have you had? Any yeah, interest? of course I love Rafa. Also, I, I watch him practice many times. Um, I watch him play in French Open. He, he came to Argentina uh, to play the 250, I think, a couple of years ago. Yeah, he he's unreal. How, how, yeah. how hard he can hit the ball and with how much toss spin. In, on clay, it's unbeatable, almost. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's so good. We look forward to seeing Rafa back. I think he's going to be playing an yeah, exhibition hopefully. end of end of like well middle of December. December. Then hopefully. Yeah. Uh, January time Australian Open he'll be back again because we're, we're definitely missing Rafa on our screens uh, yeah, the final question them, before you go I promise you is on the Challenger Tour we've spoke about how many exciting talents there are if you had to pick one who you think could have a breakout season next year or the year after uh, is there a name what springs to mind maybe someone who not everyone talks about too much but someone you think could really do something special and sort of cement themselves inside say the top 50 and never know maybe a run in a slam now on the challenger tour well um i was surprised of how olga rune did the last two months he he couldn't can't stop winning he's winning i don't know three times or four and uh, he surprised me because i knew he he could play really good but i, I didn't expect it, him to do it now i mean in August, yeah. then he qualified US Open. He was 300 three months ago, and now he's almost top 100. Um, I know everyone expected him or is expecting him to be at the top level, but he improved a lot these two or three months, and I think he, next year he will be top 50 for sure. Okay, that's a really good one. Good pick. Yeah, very yeah. good. And of too. course, we're hoping you're going to be too humble, but we're hoping you could be that guy as well. As ben did if say not, have... if not him, it's going to be me and my brother. Yeah, of sure. course. That's the answer you want to hear as yeah. well, because we believe yeah. in you a lot. And I can't wait yeah. to see what you do next year. Like Ben said, we did have Aslan on the podcast just before uh, Australian Open, and he smashed it. So we're hoping with you on this podcast Come now, on. you never know. Roland Garros, <laughs> I think the minimum now has got to be quarterfinal. Let's go. Let's go at least to get cool. to the quarters. So that's the target well, we've got for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm really <laughs> hoping so. To yeah, definitely. I'm cautious of time. I know you've got dinner uh, very soon, so we will let you go for that. So I just want to say a big thank you from myself, uh, from the bottom of my heart. I'm hoping that the end of this year is successful for you and 2022 is going to be a massive one for the Serendolo brothers. So all the best from me, JG. Thanks for coming on. It's been great having you here. Um, yeah, just like Ben said. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. it wasn't too hard and it's been uh, interesting to see inside a player's tennis bag <laughs> really yeah, thank you to you a pleasure thank you very much hopefully see you awesome on the training yeah hopefully we'll get to see you at a tournament uh at some point next year yeah we're going to be of traveling course. around to maybe even wimbledon if you're there uh because obviously that's of our course, local yeah. one i hope uh, I, could, I, could, I could be there yeah oh, hopefully awesome. I could be there. okay we'll see thank you there. You very enjoy, much. thank you enjoy your dinner thank see you, you. See you man. Oh, good night Thanks, mate Good night. Keep in touch.